Hello, my garden friends. Isn't this absolutely stunning? <laughs> this isn't my lake that I come to, but it is even closer to my house, but it's going the other way. It's part of our housing development. Uh, there's 186 homes uh, in this development, and I think we have like uh, three or four lakes like this. Uh, we always wanted to buy that property, but it was already purchased when we uh, came along, so we didn't get to do that. But uh, this really is just kind of a quiet spot, and this is all preserve along the back here. And every once in a while, I, I come walking this way, which is the opposite way of no way I normally walk, and I'm just um, I'm taken back by how breathtakingly beautiful the whole area is. Some of the neighbors in the very beginning used to complain because we're in the summer. We're in Florida. It's awfully humid. This is a lake that doesn't have a fountain in it. Uh, a couple of the others that we have do have fountains in them. And so uh, you have mosquitoes. And uh, no matter where you are in Florida, you know, we have mosquitoes. But uh, they would complain they live uh, on the houses that are right off my shoulder, right behind me. And I would think uh, how stunning this is. Uh, mosquitoes and all, I guess. So um, anyway, I just I just wanted to share this with you. I, I think those are um, some type of a a bloomer that comes up, you know, a, um, the uh, tulip kind of flower that comes up and the big egrets. But um, there was when we first moved here, and they were building uh, houses, the houses behind me an alligator had come out of the water and had gone across the street, you know, right about where I'm standing, and had gone across the street and had gotten caught in the the orange netting. Poor thing. I mean, it, you know, walked right into it. And so a couple of the concerned neighbors uh, cut away the orange netting. The alligator was about five feet long. So you know, a threat, but not a huge threat. And they just kind of, uh, it had been there like for a day or so and over a weekend when there weren't construction people there. And so um, they just kind of, the two two guys kind of threw a towel over its head and cut the uh, plastic from side to side and then uh, worked their way around and walked the alligator back and had, you know, like something, a golf club probably, and, you know, pulled the mask off I and mean, pulled the towel off and the alligator was very happy to get back in water and stay there. So uh, that was, that's my Florida story is um, the alligators are just as afraid of us as we are of them if we keep that respect for each other. So anyway, I will let you go with this and just say, uh, garden what you've got. And if you have any place that you can get to and look at this beauty of nature, I hope you will. Garden what you've got. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.